this video, I would like to address a key skill. As exams approach, people will be wondering what's the best way to revise, or even how to revise, okay? So, I'm gonna first begin by maybe breaking down a, a few misconceptions that I feel people have about revision, and then I will then uh, talk about what I think is a good way of revising. First problem is people tend to think of revision as people take it as the literal meaning of revision, i.e. revise, re-look at. This is, this is one of the things that I think is a big problem, is that people think that simply looking over the stuff again, reading it again and again, whether it's a textbook or whether it's your notes, post-its, whatever, Okay, by simply looking at it again, that is what revising is. And let me tell you why I, what I think is the problem with that. You look at information in a textbook, it is familiar. You've looked at it before, you've made notes from it. Um, so you look at it and it looks familiar. And in your brain, you start to tell yourself, that you've got this, that you know it, that you understand it, that you have learned it. And that's the problem with simple reading of your textbook, with simple reading of your notes, that it feels, the material feels so familiar that you, you then you wrongly tell yourself that you have, that you understand it and that you know it. Or you confuse understanding it with knowing it. And remember why you're revising it. You're not revising it to understand it. If you got to the point where you're revising, you've already understood it, okay? You've done all the work that your teacher asked you to do. You've answered the questions. You might have even done a few past questions. And you understand the concept. That's not in question anymore. And maybe I'll make another video on how you understand things in biology. But this is about revision. And revision, is not simply convincing yourself that you understand it. Revision, however kind of unfashionable this might be right now, revision means learning it, memorizing it. That's the next stage that you want to get to. You've understood a concept, you want to learn it so that you know what the right things are to say in an exam. You need to get to that information without waffling. So you need to learn those points. So how do you learn those points if it's not simply looking over your notes again? So if revision is not looking over your notes again, what is it? The truest revision includes self-assessment. Okay? Now this doesn't have to be you sitting down with a stack of questions. Remember, that's what you did to understand your Self-assessment, the way I refer to it here, is making sure that you've learned things, okay? So what I recommend is that you might have a page of notes, you might have a post-it, or you might have a flashcard. In whatever format, you've got a particular topic. And that topic should be broken down into, a, you know, maybe no more than 10 points. Okay? So whatever topic it is, break your unit down into digestible little packets. Okay? That can fit onto maybe a half a side or, or an A4 sheet of paper or even less than that. Read that and then absorb it. And then, you know, that's, that's nothing new, but this is the key point. You have to test yourself on whether you have learned this or not. This is the difference between effective revision and just revision for the sake of revision. Effective revision includes assessment. How do I test whether I have learned this or not? And that's by an assessment. And the best assessment is to recreate this information. 
The best assessment of whether you've learned it is not about understanding. Again, the best test of your understanding is going to come from exam questions, right? But exam questions test two things. Exam questions test your understanding and whether you've revised enough to know how best to phrase your answer, okay? Let's assume that you've got your understanding. We're working on how to phrase your answers the best you can. And that means you've got to learn certain phrases, you've got to learn certain terminology, you've got to learn definitions, okay? you've got to learn processes. And this is why it comes back to memorizing and learning. So how do we do that effectively? We test ourselves on whether we know these 10 points. Do I know these 10 points? Can I put them in the right order? Can I use the right words? How do I do that? Very simple. No complex tools, no expensive machinery devices needed. I just need a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen. That's all I need. Because if I can read this and put it away and then start on a blank paper, you know, what if, if this is topic A, whatever. Topic A. If I can recreate this page from scratch, you know, not word for word, but you know, all the key, all the key points are there. They're all in the right order. All the key terms are there. If I can do that, then I've revised it. Now, what's likely to happen is you're going to try this the first time, and you might get to about one third of the way down, and you'll realize that you're stuck. Guess what? Now you're revising. Now you've got to a point where you've realized that actually you thought you knew this stuff, but you didn't. So you've got that far, you've got stuck. It's okay. You're going to go back to this, you're going to review it, you find out where you got stuck, you're going to make sure that you know all the points afterwards. We're going to start from a fresh page again. Yes, this does use up a lot of paper. Okay? But, you know, if you've got a tablet, you can do it on a tablet, you know, buy cheap paper, it's okay. Right? So we start again, and this time you might find you'll get further down. Maybe you'll get stuck again. Go back, review it, do it again. It takes a little bit of time. If you do this, you are revising properly. Okay? So we do it the third time, and, or fourth time, or fifth time, or whatever it is, but this time, it's all correct. Now you know that you can write it out. Okay? Now you know that all this thing, not only do you understand it, you also know the proper terminology and you know how to explain it in order using the proper phrases. And when it comes to using that information in an exam question, I, I think you'll find it comes to you more freely. It comes to you more organically. All right? Because you've understood the concept, now you know how best to put it into words in an exam, okay? Now, does that mean that you're gonna get every single point on an exam question? Not really, but it gives you all the material with which to build good answers. You still need to work on exam questions to perfect that, to respond to command words, to make sure that you address the number of marks, to make sure that you're um, answering the question that's being asked properly, you still need to work on that technique, but now you've got all the tools with which you can do that. Then you can simply move on to a stage where you're just doing exam questions. Okay? So, this is what I think effective revision is. So write it down here. So, the golden rule is this. The golden rule is effective revision incorporates self-assessment. Self Be careful of this, because this process is active. You know, think about your own revision process. Is it active? Are you writing things down? Are you asking yourself questions about whether you get it or not? Are you going back to your notes and seeing, uh, you know, finding out the things that you don't get? Or is it passive? Are you just reading, just sitting there and reading, and is it passive? 
you want to avoid that. Okay, so that's my advice on revision. If you have any questions or if you want to uh, exchange good revision practices, you can do that in the comment section below. And if you have any ideas for other kind of skill things that you want me to help with or give my opinion on, uh, please uh, do leave a comment also. All right, guys, good luck.